Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Yan. I listen to the beat songs, comeback songs, and songs I never heard of for the first time with you all. You can tell I'm many layers because I am getting cold. Anyways, I listen to K-pop and J-pop and also dance to it as well. So if you want to check out my dance projects, it is here. It's fun for me. It's a good way for me to exercise. I'm also learning Japanese and vlogging at the same time. So if you want to see my simple life or my um, practice Japanese with me, that is fine too. Lastly, I have another channel called Game Can sort of cook where I try to bake food, cook food, but also share what I eat in a day and talk about different snacks, foods, and drinks with you all. So all my hobbies, place them here. I feel like this is a good area to share my hobbies and welcome and thank you for being here. All right, today we're listening to a comeback by La Seraphim and they've been doing really well with lots of different concepts, cool editing, um, great voices, rapping, trying to think. I guess we heard some rapping, yeah, um, as well as the choreography, which is what I pay attention to the most, just because that's something that catches my attention the most. But anyways, the name of the song we're listening to is called A Perfect Night. What does that mean? For me, A Perfect Night will be eating whatever I want, and then I'll probably be playing video games or watching a movie or something that I enjoy watching and snuggle up like in my onesie right now wearing my shark onesie <laughs> lots of layers i mean it's cold yes i have the heater on but you know it's not like full on blast mode so anyways enough about me i'm guessing it's going to be fun um maybe a little darker just because the word tonight but i mean it can be anything so i'm just gonna have to enjoy and see what they have in store for us you viewers, I want to let you know I watch the whole thing first before I talk about the MV, whether there's like a theme or storyline or just questions for you too, aside from the highlights that I picked out. So without further ado, let's check out their comeback song right now. Okay. Okay, easy peasy because there's nothing to really talk about. Um, Overwatch 2. I know Overwatch is like a video game or a computer game. I never played it. But I think I've seen some of my friends play it's like a shooting game, teamwork shooting mission game of some sort. Maybe there'll be characters from Overwatch 2 where they're advertising the game. Anyways, let's check it out right now. Till it's 
so I don't know. I mean, first of all, if I just listen. Should I say it here? <laughs> Anyways, I was just like, let me get straight to the point. There's nothing bad, but I just noticed that the combination was definitely not what I expected. And I'll tell you more about that in the beginning. However, if I look at it separately, I would uh, appreciate it more, I guess. Anyways, let me tell you more from the beginning so I don't confuse anybody. So the song was sung in English, a love song for a perfect night. We kind of get the idea from there. And the melody this time is very chill, more relaxing, slower tempo, right? More just like in the groove, nodding, bobbing your head type of a thing. Um, and Overwatch, in my opinion, based on my knowledge of it, it's like intense, uh, powerful, um, lots of like skills and things that happen and I felt like both of them um didn't really go in together come together other than Overwatch went to the Seraphim's concert that's how it worked out I guess but I mean I was hoping either the Seraphim would have a more upbeat music to match the intensity of Overwatch in general. Again, based on my knowledge, maybe there are more common moments in Overwatch. Or Overwatch, I don't know. Anyways, that's just my thought. That's why I was like trying to think of how to express it. Anyways, um, to the girls though, they're practicing, they're getting it ready, and they're singing, right? Dressing up, and then we see the other side, like the fans getting ready to enjoy the concert right eating and all that while the seraphim takes a few selfies to show the fans before they um, perform the real thing and so we were able to see both sides of how they get ready for the same event and so the girls of the seraphim singing in english like i said dressing up um, in a more sporty attire very unique smooth flexible choreography this time a lot of hip and bum movements i guess and it just looks really hard for me because I'm just very stiff. Like I, I can, I, I can't even move my arm flexibly, let alone my waist, my my um, ankles, like the knees here, like spinning as well as here, like the legs. Anyways, they're very flexible, showing that. But there's also other parts where it shows power and strength as well, and it was really nice. But then we went back to the Overwatch team. While they were waiting, they realized there's a huge traffic jam. Not surprised because they are all going to the concert. And so they're trying to problem solve their way as the gals kept practicing, I guess. And so one of the members or of the friends of Overwatch, like, let's go this way, used a little bit of magic to, you know, um, take their car over there. Uh, and then the Seraphim is dressed up in a pink and black outfit, kind of like. Um, opposites, right? Here's opposite, some pink, some black. Love the cute little hair, um, hairstyle for each member. They look great. And then we go back to the Overwatch team where they're like, let's go this way. And they're using their magic. Even though the Seraphim started performing already, they still found their ways to get there. And we were able to see the different characters of Overwatch do, do different things like gravity, um, driving for now. Uh, another one like speed through and then later on she was able to teleport to get the extra tickets. And so in the end they all made it to the concert. There were some difficulties but they made it. They had a blast um, and La Seraphim was able to perform the rest of their song in the setting. And so I thought that was really cool and very sweet. Um, love the little still moments. I don't, like I said, I never really played Overwatch. Not sure how much of the facial expressions they have in the actual game, but for here, it looks pretty good. Like it's, <laughs> it's wacky. It's a little more angular like than I thought it would be. So with that, I was slightly distracted. Wasn't fully paying attention to the singing, perhaps. Um, but if I separate it, I think just listening to it, it sounds good. Overwatch looks fine, but together I feel like the pace was a little off. But again, I'm no expert of either things. It's just that when together my brain was like, oh, okay, okay, all right, that's new, that's new, oh, okay. So that was just my brain. But anyway, share your thoughts below. Continue to support La Seraphim. Enjoy Perfect Night many more times, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.